Ladies and gentlemen, I've traveled back from the future to tell you about the exciting opportunities that's offered by the big screen. You've seen, as we're going to show you, the exciting things such as smartphones linked to the big screen, real-time quizzes, anything is possible. We've got an exciting day ahead. We are using media in a much more fluid and natural way, allowing the media to come to us. And what that gives is that the concentrated moment in the cinema is one that's of immense power for advertisers. And our task over the next months, years, as long as it takes, is to convince more and more people that in the cinema there are people who are ready, willing and receptive to brands showing their best. If you could just all now please activate on your device the Sawa Cinema application. What BMW did and we created with them was a game that you could play in the cinema that tested your driving skills against a pre-recorded lap from a professional driver and then after that gave you a score based on what you actually achieved during the actual event itself. Hollywood Squares is essentially one of the classic, most famous game shows of all time, but we've rebooted it in a fresh way that's completely interactive with our Cinemi technology. So it brings the audience right into the game set. This is a taste of the future, just an example of what we will be doing. The final version will be bigger, be more cinematic, and draw audiences into a whole world of global A-list stars. We're going to allow people to have their mobile phone and engage with their mobile phone during the uh, pre-show. So we want to learn more about brand that you're seeing on screen, be able to Shazam it and get more information. And we know that people who go to movies are very engaged with the movie content. We're going to create a weekly update on the social stratosphere of what's going on around Hollywood and allow folks while sitting in their movie seats to engage with Twitter, learn more about movies that they're coming to see, create their own vines, perhaps even see your vine up on the screen, and it'll all be sponsored by a brand. At Finch, we recently worked on a campaign that applied robotics to a great cause. Cinema is really important for us because we'll be able to have a physicality and an experiential aspect to the campaign. We'll be able to set the robot arm up in the foyer of the cinema. We'll be able to play an ad to the cinema go as well during the pre-show before they watch the film, asking them to engage. And then because we know which cinema they're in and when their film finishes, we'll be able to make their signature jump the queue so that when they're leaving the film and walking through the foyer, they'll be able to see the robot arm sign their name. And we really believe that will have a big impact on the campaign and that's an exciting sort of next step for us. Uh, this has been a big year for us with the introduction of Dolby Atmos, which is our immersive sound format. It's been very, very successful. We have over 140 titles now and a lot more on the slate. And clearly, immersive audio in all its forms is going to play an important part in the future of advertising. And I think it's great and important for us to get the message across to the creative community about just what they can unlock with a good immersive sound format. 2015 is going to be a major blockbuster year in, in matching the stories and the characters existing in those movies together with the brand stories. It's a really exciting opportunity. The brand can really tell their story effectively through the story of the movie. So this is a really great opportunity for the creatives uh, to rethink what advertising can be for the cinema. So if the young creatives from Cannes this year can think about how they can be creative for next year, perhaps we'll get some gold candlelight winners out of it. Yeah, um, the favorite part was um, the race car. Ah, <laughs> yes. yes. I hope that I could make it for the DeLorean, but uh, unfortunately, no, no, no. I think I'm number 11. I won the Hollywood Square, and apparently I won the DeLorean drive as well. The, the way that the, the cinema and advertising industry is kind of just pushing the boundaries and watching all the trying to reach technology from this side and driving to the uh, or trying to reach the audience with the technology. It's looking good. Oh, we have to be the Australian case for the right now. Right. Oh, it's beautiful. Printing and the printing and it's amazing. An amazing campaign. Uh, what's coming up for 2050? Yes. So all those blockbusters and uh, you know trying to do something that extends beyond the the on-screen element yeah. with the potential brands so quite looking forward to that now I haven't got much time I got to go back to 2015 but I've given you a taster and hopefully you've seen just the exciting opportunities that exist on the big screen courtesy here of Sawa and the Cannes Lions I will see you back here next year which for me is about an hour from now goodbye